Good morning. Welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. It's good to be on with you today, even though it's going to be a crock pot recipe that I'm just going to show you this morning how to just dump things in the crock pot. And then when it's time to eat later today, I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. I'll tell you that this chemo round has been pretty rough. Normally I have about seven to nine days that I just feel horrible, where I don't have any energy, I can't eat. But this time it was, uh, it was two weeks. And uh, my oncologist tells me that chemo is cumulative, so each treatment, it's gonna get a little tougher. I go back next Wednesday for treatment number five, and then I'll only have one more after that. I just thank God every day for that. Thank y'all for your prayers because I have felt them, and I know without them I couldn't make it. But you know what? Today I wanna show you this crock pot recipe. Now, I use these slow cooker liners. I know that when I've used them before, there's been people that have said, I think if you put a, a plastic bag in there, it's going to melt. But these are not just plastic bags. They're for crock pots. And let me tell you, it makes cleanup so much easier. I have these on my uh, products I love, and it comes with a box of eight. So today I'm gonna show you how I make my beef tips. Now I, I just have some stew meat right here. I found a, um, a local meat market. Well, it's local, it's probably about 12 miles from my house. But I went there yesterday and I got some meat and it is processed, not processed, it is cut there in house. I'm gonna go ahead and dump this in here. And then let me go and wash my hands. but it is fresh and it's the first time I had bought, but they told me they, they have it that you can buy it frozen or they have a few bags that are fresh. And uh, they said, now, if you're not gonna use this in two days, you go ahead and you freeze it because we do not put any preservatives in ours like the supermarkets do. All right, to that, let's just see you can see. To that, I'm going to add one can of beef broth, one can of cream of mushroom soup. Now, I know some of you have told me that you, you are allergic or whatever. You don't have to use this soup. You could use cream of chicken or you could just not use the soup. This is how I make mine. Then, I, I have sliced a small onion into rings. And I'm just going to put that on top. And the last thing that I'm gonna put is salt and pepper. And I'm probably, you know, it'll be about maybe a teaspoon of each. I'm not measuring it. It's just up to you what you'd like. Then I put the lid on it. I plug it up, turn it on low for six to eight hours or high for four hours. And tonight, I'm gonna make some rice, and then we're gonna have beef tips over rice. And I'll be back 
when this is ready, and I'll show you just how tender and good this is. Now, I will tell you, after I take it off, if, I, if it looks like it, or when it's time to, to serve it, if it looks like it's not thick enough, the gravy is not thick enough, I can get a little of this juice, put about two tablespoons of cornstarch in it, mix it up real good, and pour it back in there for about five minutes, and it'll thicken up. But most of the time, it's thick enough for me. But I just wanted you to know that I will be back, and I'll show you the rest of this. Okay, I have finished cooking the crock pot meal, and I told Harold, I said, come join me. And he said, oh, I don't know that I want to do that. And I said, well, you don't have to, but he did. I just, you know, he's been beside me through this whole thing. And, you know, many of you mention him in your comments and in your cards. And, you know, it is hard for the caregivers when they're going through this. And Harold's had to do it all. I haven't cooked. Pray for Mama Sue. <laughs> I haven't cooked. I haven't. Well, I tried to cook something last night, and and uh, I couldn't stand the smell of it. So Harold finished it for me. But today's a good day, and we did finish the uh, the crock pot beef tips, and I'm going to uh, show you. I cooked some rice. And I just put rice on this plate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and see I, if you can get mainly the meat to start with. And then, okay, that's good. And, you know, I will, that, that may be all I can eat. But let's see, put just a little gravy. Not, don't put any more meat because, okay. I wanted to show you on this. This is so tender. I mean, it just falls apart. And this is uh, just the recipe that I showed you this morning. It's just the stew meat and the uh, um, beef broth, cream of mushroom soup, onion, salt, and pepper. And that's all it is. And uh, I don't know if it's too hot to eat, but let me see. Get just a little bit. Mm. Mm. <laughs> is it hot? It's not too hot. But y'all, you can put this on in the morning. If you uh, are going somewhere and just leave it on low all day long, that's what I did. And then I just cooked some rice. I cooked a, just a cup and a half of rice to three cups of water. And that's what we're going to have tonight. But I wanted you to know that uh, we're going to get back to cooking soon, <laughs> hopefully. Um I have chemo next Wednesday, so I hope I can at least cook something else for you before then. And then I probably won't be cooking anymore for two weeks because uh, it's just what it is. But I want to remind you that God is with me and he's with you when you're walking through the battle. It doesn't matter what it is. Sometimes... God can, can keep you from having to go through it, you know, if that's his plan. But if it's not his plan, if you're walking through something, he's right there with you. And I wanted you to know that and just know that uh, I'm blessed because I have someone that's right here that's taking care of me. And I know a lot of, not of you, a lot of you have had to go through these things alone, but know God is with you. I just hope you'll be salt and light wherever you go. You know, in this world, things don't look real good right now. People are having to pay an awful lot for gas and groceries and things like that. 
But let's not look at the bad things of this world. Let's look at the good thing that we have, and that's God. You have anything you want to say? <laughs> I don't have anything to say. Okay. Thank you for watching. Yes, and we'll be back soon. Remember, be salt and light.